Hi friends, I'm Tina Zink, the Serene Stamper. Today's video is a bit different. I'm going to show you some great cards that I've received recently at the On Stage event put on by Stampin' Up. These cards were created by other demonstrators and they are using products that are featured in the 2016 Annual and the Holiday Catalog. So I received so many wonderful cards. Instead of posting them up on my blog, I thought it'd be a lot quicker just to share them on my YouTube channel with you. So I'm sure that these cards are going to inspire you as much as they have me. So let's get started. So this first card features the Paisley's and Posey stamp set with the lovely embossing folder. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. This was created by Betsy Rowe. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Very, very pretty card. Very pretty Christmas card here. And this one was created by Ruth Monkman. Very nice. Love the copper embossing folder on that one. Here's a sweet Christmas card using our cable net in embossing folder. This was created by Pamela Gale. Thank you, Pam. Very, very cute. I love all the circle layers. Really adorable. This one is actually one of my very favorite swaps that I received in Ottawa at the onstage event. I love everything about this card. I love the colors. I love the stamp. I love how it's raised, the uh, washi tape. Just everything about this card speaks to me and the cute little heart. Absolutely love this card. This was created by Carrie Kozlowski. Hopefully I said that correctly. <laughs> but that's probably one of my very favorite cards. Simple but beautiful. Here's a pretty card with um, the DSP, the designer series paper, being used to create the Christmas tree and our lovely holly background. I'm actually going to take this out of the plastic. This was made by Melissa Belfontaine. So hopefully you can see that embossing. It is truly stunning. Really, really gorgeous. Really fun. I love this. I'm going to have to give this technique a try. Here's another sweet card. I love the colors that this demonstrator used on her card. Really, really sweet. Another Paisley Symposi stamp set. Very nice. Here's another sweet Christmas card using the Christmas cookie cutter set and I love the little fold that this demonstrator used. Here's another one of my favorites. It is so clean and simple and so elegant. This card is using the Merriest Wishes and Many Tags framelits. So, and this card was created by Carrie Hurst. Thank you Carrie, I love your card. This card is created by Brenda and it's another card that I just love because it's clean and simple and it's just so pretty with that Paisley's and Posies. Very, very nice. Look at this card. Isn't that gorgeous? This was created by Gwen Hicks. I think it's absolutely stunning. I love these pine cones, these framelits. So, so nice. Here's another sweet card using the cable net background embossing folder, which packs such a pow. It's just so, so nice. Another one of my favorite cards. I love this. And this was created by Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Very, very pretty. This is the Paisley Symposi stamp set again, and this is one of our stencils that she has just sponged um, the ink on to create the background. Look at this sweet card using the bells and some glimmer paper. Super pretty. That was created by Joanne. Thanks, Joanne. Very, very nice. Another cute card with the little banner and the Christmas cookie cutter set again. Really sweet. What I love about this card is just how all the colors tie in, which of course is the beauty of Stampin' Up! and our color coordination. So I just love how the card stock and ink and everything matches the designer series paper that's created by Daryl. Thanks, Daryl. This is another one of my favorite Christmas cards that I received. I really, really love this card. So moving right along, I've showed you the Christmas cards first. Now we're going on to our Everyday Occasions cards for this lovely happy birthday card. That's created by my friend Evelyn Wood. Evelyn, I love your card. Thank you. Beautiful colors. Very, very nice. And Joanne Perry made this sweet card. I love the little squares and it's, I think this would be a great way to use up our designer series paper. Really pretty. Here's another sweet card, again using that stencil that was just sponged to get that background. Lovely. And Leslie made this card and it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Um, again, I'm going to take this out of the package. 
so that you can truly see the embossing. Isn't that just awesome? And cute little banners on there. These little details just are great. They pull out the colors that she used for sponging on her card. I love this card. I'm absolutely going to be casing this card. Here's another card that I really, really like. This was created by Linda. And Linda told me that she created these little curly bits here just by using her paper snips to cut little thin strips of paper and wrapping it around a skewer. And then she added them to her card. Great touch. Very, very nice. Here's a cute card. Isn't that sweet? Some punch art going on there. Looks like he kind of took like a little bite out of the paper on the inside. Sweet for when you need a cute little kid's card. That's adorable. Sophie made this pretty card. Great colors too. I love those colors. And Tammy made this card using the swirly bird. You know, little framelits that we have. I think that's a brilliant way to use our products. Very nice. My friend Janine Cole created this pretty card. And again, just from using one ink with the same color of paper and ribbon and just adding a bit of the white and the gray and she's got a stunning card nicely embossed in the background that's beautiful and Gloria made this card very nice thank you Gloria now my new friend Paula who I just met created this card and it's a classic using lovely as a tree gorgeous she just put on a mask for the Sun a little circle and then lightly sponged on gray and then she stamped the lovely as a tree it looks like in gray and then offset it and stamped again in the blue such a pretty card and she had the same card where she had stamped it that way portrait instead of landscape with the trees going this way and that looked beautiful too love 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 that card a cute little punch art Christmas card great for the kids in our lives adorable Jackie Topa made that. Thank you, Jackie. All right, just a couple more cards. Now, my dear friend Kay Smith, who lives in Newfoundland, gave me this card, and it's lovely. Look at that. Great for an anniversary card. You can put your little sentiment in here. This is a really easy card to make, but it's such a wow, and I've not done a video on how to make this card, so I will be doing a video on how to create this fold very, very soon. So thank you, Kay. That's gorgeous. And Kay, who was also my roommate when we were in Ottawa, gave me this card. Isn't that pretty? I love that stamp set and it just coordinates with the designer series paper so well and Kay always spoils me when we get together and brings me um, chocolate from the Newfoundland Chocolate Company so I always enjoy the chocolate that Kay spoils me with thank you Kay alright so that's it for the cards that I received at on stage but because you stuck around for the end I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of some of the make and takes that we did at the on stage event featuring new product not out yet so here's a really pretty card this card is from the sew and love bundle and can you see that bouquet background on our designer series paper it's gorgeous and our little embellishment beautiful can you see all the bling and just made a cute little belly band to go on the card so you're gonna love that when it comes out and this was another make and take that we did and it features celebration designer series paper that's coming out called inside the lines and it's 12 by 12 paper that you can color like our adult coloring books that we're all loving and this features our new watercolor pencils that are going to be coming out with the occasions catalog I'm so excited I've missed having our watercolor pencils and if you used our old watercolor pencils before I need to tell you that the new ones are even better they they work with our blending pen like they they're just they melt like butter underneath the blending pan they're just that good so you're gonna love them so that was a cute little make and take this sweet card is using our balloon adventures bundle and um, it's got a fun stamp set cute little embellishments this is a balloon and there's little party hats and it also has a little pop-up thinlet die so that is so much fun and the stamp set's a great birthday set 
And then look at these adorable little 3x3 cards. Holy cow. These are from the Sending Love bundle. And the stamp sets and the framelits that come in this bundle are just awesome. It makes little arrows and hearts. And you got your little wood embellishments. Um, you can make your little envelopes. Don't know if you can see that on the camera. But you got your little envelopes and your little bits and pieces that you can tuck in there. And the little expressions are adorable. And then the designer series paper that come in the paper packs are beautiful too. So that's a little bit of a rundown of a whole lot of cards. So I hope you enjoyed that and I enjoyed sharing them with you. And stay tuned later this week. I'll have some more videos for you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Happy stamping. <laughs>